What up, my devil? Sensei Tutum with another video for you. So, this week, we're going to do a S&P 500 macro update. It's been a few months. It's been requested, and so it will be. Um, so, just to bring you up to date in case you're not sure of who I am, you haven't seen any of my videos yet here on the Trade Devils YouTube, I'm Sensei Tutum, teacher Tutum here at the uh, Trade Devils uh, University. Uh, we teach Elliott Wave, Algos, etc., etc., our trading and uh, analysis techniques um and i happen to also be a certified elliott wave analyst through elliott wave institute the you know the ogs in the ew world um and i've got the master designation on that of course which means i'm qualified in their eyes to teach it um so yeah so i know what i'm doing uh doesn't mean that i can tell the future no one can i'm wrong i'm, I'm wrong just like everybody else but you know i'm decent at applying this theory and i certainly know this theory so that is not in question um so let's go ahead and recap real quick on the macro just to catch everybody up that probably doesn't know what mine is so zooming way out of course we're not on the chart that goes all the way back to like the 30s and all that but unimportant at it's totally unimportant what you need to know is that you anchor your your count right on major pivots this major pivot this dot com crash all the way up to the uh before the housing crash right this is a major v12 sideways bullish um right so then since that 07 uh 08 whatever uh housing crash the great recession i've had what we are in is the next is the one of the three um if this is the one and this is the two then this last 10 years or so uh is the one of the three and this is the count here this is you know obviously played with this over time but for quite some time it felt good about this um now once once we had this three wave drop and we had what you would think should be you know five waves to here could have been you know three because it's such a small this is very small so it was obviously going to be the start of a corrective you know and not necessarily if it were to get external let me stop let me stop so if it were to be correcting all of this it's it's not significant enough so we would need more so then anything going up would be a reactive wave with another uh motive wave to come down um at the time uh we didn't know how this would play but you know all through here i was looking reactive 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 um and uh you know of course not you know short the market or anything but still thinking like you know this this isn't done right uh, i i'm pretty sure i had at one point that uh that it was like a one two three and then that didn't work out we ended up going to the triangle and then we had what was this giant b wave of the flat um well within the rules uh the rules are that uh b should not or x in a sideways combination uh, or sideways style of correction should not be more than twice the length of a so if obviously from here to the top is one to one and then which is the most likely for a sideways correction and then of course the negative 100 up here that you use for your algo targets you can measure that way uh would be invalidation we got close this is a big ass reactive wave in a sideways um but it did not invalidate and that's what we we're looking for and you know of course there's a lot of people out there that uh showed this count after that it already started and and got a lot of accreditation out there in the in the world for that which is good but uh we were we were on this um as you see here uh you know showed these in back in my previous macro videos we were looking for that of course at the time we even said this was a short c i think this was when it was in the neighborhood of a 618 extension uh oh no we can see the extension right here it's less than 382 or it's less than uh 618 but over 382 so we're drawing that thinking maybe potentially there was a lot of divergence at the time continued up so this was back on december 3rd 2019 then this was back on december 19th 2019 i finally picked picked an area of high you know not doing rocket science here boys one to one a to c so we were looking at just under 3400 and then of course we topped out at uh 3389 so kind of pegged that one um and of course this came down in a sideways correction what do you expect c or 
you know, whether it be a Y or whatever, and in the area of the of this, and that happened, of course. Now, the, what the, what what has been a question is what comes next. You know, I've talked about how the stock market um, circuit breakers kept this from getting deeper than you might have expected for like an expanded flat where you would kind of want the C to be great uh, greatly beyond the A. It's beyond, but you know, those circuit breakers certainly stopped it. And when we're correcting all of this move, all of this move, you really want to get down to your high probability area, of course. Now, we did have that giant B wave that gives you more time magnitude to increase the magnitude of your correction without giving you depth, right? Uh, because you either pay for it in price or pay for it in time, or you know, in some cases, pay for it in both. Um, but we didn't even get down to 382. So, you know, has was this was this adequate to create the this two this one to two yes technically it's it, it's just just i would say adequate uh so let's just draw our channel on this wave from the two to the four from the three uh typically project the five we do come down break that channel so it's an external retracement not not much i mean <laughs> barely so once that happened my personal opinion was this is probably unresolved, meaning that this would end up being either an A or a W, you know, a, 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 the first pattern in a complex corrective. So my idea had been, you know, since this low that we would probably be putting in a reactive wave. The only way we would know is if we see if we put in a large five wave structure. Obviously, the uh, correction is never five waves. Um, if this were an X or a B wave, it would have to be a three wave structure. Um, and now that we've had some data evolve, we can take a look and see, let's get down more on the daily, um, a little bit cleaner look. Um, but now we've had time to let this play out and we can decide, do we think this is uh, reactive? I mean, we're getting, we're already getting, we're, we've gone beyond again, uh, most common, if it were a sideways style of correction, which you would expect if the first wave was a, a flat, of course, it could be a flat can be an A in a flat wave, or it can be a W in a multi uh, or double double three, triple three, whatever, um, in a um, sideways style. It can be the A or the W. Uh, if you don't know what that means, you got to come over and learn Elliott Wave from uh, from us over at the Trade Devils University. So, um, but it, it's irrelevant as far as looking at the macro scale, because the only difference between whether this is an A or a W, and then this is an X or a B, would be, you know, both of them in the end result would be that the next, you know, actionary leg in this comes down and ends roughly in the same area. So right then and there, we can tell you guys, no matter what, whether this is, we're looking for a motive wave, which if there was a motive wave, it would only, you know, 50 to 618 high probability retracement area. Um, but uh, spoiler alert, in the most bearish scenario, we're still only probably testing the area of March, whether whether it's up above a bit or even we get down to, you know, 2016 lows, potentially something like that. Those that's the, like the most bearish case scenario. I see a lot of people talking about 08 lows and things like that. Um, and that's just that just doesn't fit. That doesn't fit my macro. Um, could I be wrong? Absolutely. I feel pretty damn confident, like about as confident as you can feel in Elliott wave count um, when you don't know the future, that that's not gonna happen. So, you know, if, if it does light me up, that's fine. <laughs> but but we're probably gonna have bigger things to worry about. Uh, anyway, uh, let's get back down on the daily. What we need to discuss and change, or not change, but at least see where we're update, is have we put in, are we putting in a five wave move or a corrective three wave? And of course, um fives and threes can extend um and the, so the correction or the motive can be bigger and you just add four to those swings five plus four nine extended motive wave three plus four seven extended corrective wave and you can you know extend and extend and extend um what we'd be looking for for invalidation levels just like over here is two times the length of this um the c here for the uh invalidation of the um of the x or the b 
Yeah, that, that's that's way up here. <laughs> I don't, don't expect another massive uh, sideways, but you never know. Um, so we're, we're well within being um, with room to either side to being a corrective still. Um, but have do we have a motive? It, it, you know, we've got motive waves in here, but I don't see a clean motive here personally. Um, certainly not. Um, you know, let's anchor this. Let's go ahead and anchor this down discussing this count. What do we see here? We see what's obviously a sideways style, you know, flat three wave. Perfect. Great to anchor the count. And then to start, what are these first dominant pivots? One, two, three, four, five. So that looks like a motive wave. So then obviously this is corrective because we continue on. Um, so either, you know, whether it be that this is the corrective or if this is a truncation of some sort, but then we have one uh, and then this two. So five, six, seven, eight, nine swings roughly to here whether this is a swing and a swing. Um, but at this point, we have, let's just say to this low, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dominant swings. Now, obviously if it had gone down here, we would have been seven to the high, corrective finish there, but we've gone up and made another new high. Now, this doesn't really look like a motive wave. This could potentially be um, on the lower degree, a th some sort of three in progress. Um, oops, uh, could be some sort of three in pro hello, there it goes three in progress. Um, that could be getting toppy. I mean, we are, look at this divergence. I mean, to think that we don't, we, we, I see a correction coming, um, uh, a larger, you know, maybe the size of this, um, if not all of this starting this to this move or what, whatever it's going to be, um, and with this sort of strong divergence, it, it seems that it, it could be this month um, or or we could just continue on internal. So um, but let's count this again. So we've gotten all the way up to here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, potentially. But then, of course, is this just do you just count this as one? That would be nine. Well, is there a valid motive count for this nine swing move? You know this could this be your one two and then one two three four five for three four five well what's the shortest wave in here looks like this looks like what would be the three wave yeah shorter than one and of course shorter than five so can't be one two three four five i'm sorry can't be one two three four five because three of the three is the shortest and you would expect three of the three to be the longest right Okay, so could it be one, two, three, four? Could it be one, two, three, four, five? Certainly three is longer than five at this point. It looks to be probably shorter than one. But if this is your one and this is your four, these are overlapping. So in theory, only the terminus counts for the overlap rule. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's overlap. I mean, it's just barely. And of course, in a highly levered market, you can allow for a wick, yada, yada, yada. Okay, yeah, you go ahead and project and bet your money on that. <laughs> I don't. Um, and I would recommend to anybody that learns from me not to. Um, you put your money on on highly probable good looking setups um, that just does not look right. Um, so let's go ahead and throw that one out. Um, is there another motive wave count in here? One, two. See, and then you start getting funky. One, two, three, four, five, one to here, two, one, two, three, four. Then you got this giant four. Oh, it still overlaps. So no, I mean, so right now with the overlaps and the way things are, it looks to me like we probably have a corrective of some sort, but what is it? Um, I mean, to me, it looks like we're, we could, 
we could potentially be putting we have a few options now we could stay internal and in here you know correct down and go up and then we might have more swings to put in where we see oh yeah this was a mode of structure it's not a pretty one but at the moment i don't see a mode of structure in here um a clean one let's put it that way one that you would want to say is better than corrective with the overlaps and things like that so i would think that we are we have two kind of primary options uh one could be that we have like a w or here here i'll just do this in elliott wave uh labels oops a b c w x y oops see i never use this because they're not that common but look at this wave w x y x You're putting in a z um now again this could be a three wave in progress here so maybe the z is close to done um that seems like one that is quite possible uh because this you know at, even as a motive wave this wave that we talked about with the five swings this wave and this wave are pretty damn similar and including this wave as well um but if we look the three is like the same exact length as the one so and of course it channels channels like a zigzag as well it doesn't channel like a three wave would channel for a one of course this is a kickoff wave getting a little in the weeds on the elliott wave talk there um won't really cover that but channels like a zigzag this channels like a zigzag and of course this breaks the like an x and then this doesn't channel for shit but it's still in play it could be could be there there's some case down low that obviously this strong move to the high looks like a motive and then we get like almost no retrace and then we got ugliness going up so um this could just be an a to here and then we're putting in a b potentially so we could do something like this and then the Z comes up to here, but you know, it's hard, you know, <laughs> it's either this, I hate to say it, it's either this, which you don't get many of these triple zigzags, triple anythings, uh, as far as, or triple sideways, triple zigzag, get a triple zigzag a little more often than you might see a triple sideways combo, but uh, you don't get this very often, but I I'm just not seeing anything else that seems like a probable scenario, unless we continue on internal without getting external, if we if we break external anytime in the near future i would say that and, and why is this important why is it so important that we figure out is this motive or is this corrective because if it's corrective the target is this area if it's motive the target's down here or you know in these bullish ass markets you sometimes you get the three eight two two you know two, two three six retrace but that let's just say if this is corrective the target is much deeper than if it's motive much deeper um and so far you know it's it's hard to say when it's going to turn over Cut, these things always go up longer than you think they will you know i like i've been i was thinking that we would be done here and then go down you know that this would be some sort of a multi zigzag like uh i don't know but we we've there's been there's been other times during this downward move that i thought we would be quote unquote done right um and, and we just haven't been so uh we could continue on but it feels like we're getting toppy again i'll show you this strong daily divergence so you know divergence could continue on for quite some time but that's strong um we have what appears to be a potential resolution of account coming up so a b c w x y x z um of course this could easily turn into this and i would actually probably prefer that just because this is so funky in here with with no real retrace on that level and i don't have any sort of valid motive count here on the lower degree so to be honest i would prefer something like this but i i hate to say it i'm still quote unquote bearish um on this macro term um I, it would be cool if this could prove me wrong stay internal you know Let's just say, think from a swing perspective. 
um, let's say it was one, two. I don't know. This could be another one, two. And then this goes up, you know, we just stay internal. And, or, that's not really, but draw this appropriately for you. So what's, what's, what's something that could be a bullish count? We have the one, two, three, four, five, one, two, and then say this was another one, two, three, four, five, and it'd be like one, two, three, four, five, and just on, on, and on, continue the bowl. That's quite possible. And if it's the bowl, that's kind of what it's got to be. Um, but it's got to stay internal for some time here. Um, but it's things are looking kind of, you know, kind of dicey. We haven't had divergence like this in some time. Let's see. Let's see if when the last divergence like this was. Um, we had less pronounced divergence from this high to this high. Of course, it was much closer swings, which divergence is always better, more near term. But, you know, less pronounced there. Um, let's see if we can find something on a large scale like that. Um, this was this is similar. Wait a second. Fairly similar. Didn't get a whole big retrace out of that, but of course this was a triangle. We don't have that going on here. Um, and we had it here but again not as pronounced even actually that's fairly similar i'd say that's maybe the best analog so i mean you usually get a reaction out of daily um the daily divergence so i mean i don't i don't know that this is done here guys but if it were the top end already i wouldn't be shocked um i'd personally like to see see this finish out something like that um i'd love it to stay internal and be bullish you know <laughs> i got plenty of stonks in a portfolio right um but you know this is why you have your bitcoin and your gold things like that on the macro scale of course we want to trade it this is implied volatility uh great for traders um so yeah i think this is where i'm at macro i, ha I haven't changed i haven't changed so all right boys toot out